Two new videos surfaced today in the shooting death of a young man New Year's Day at an East Bay BART station by a BART police officer. One witness captured the actual shooting with a cell phone, which you'll see only on Channel 2. Because of the controversial nature of the shooting and the questions surrounding it, KTVU decided to air the video. The video may be key in the case to help shed some light into what happened immediately before the officer fired his gun. But we also want to warn viewers you may find the video disturbing to watch and may want to turn away. KTVU's Ken Pritchett reports. This is the Fruitvale BART station at 2 a.m. New Year's Day, as captured on video by 19-year-old Karina Vargas. You can see this is the BART door. I'm in my BART train. They're pulling these boys out of the train in front of our train. Vargas was on the same train as 22-year-old Oscar Grant. Grant, along with several other young men, were pulled from the train by BART police officers after a report of a fight. The train was held and Vargas began filming as police detained the suspects, three of whom were cuffed, but not the victim, Oscar Grant. He puts his hands up right here. Like telling the cops, they're all being cooperative, they're all telling the cops, okay, 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 and they're just sitting down. Vargas continued for several minutes to film police as they worked to control the situation, and then her attention turned to an arrest right at her side. That's when she heard the shot. Grant was fatally wounded. He's not squirming, he's not fidgeting, he's being cooperative. Then they start, you hear the gunshot turn back, look at his face, he's in pain. While Vargas did not have a clear view of the incident, another witness with a cell phone camera had a direct view, which showed Grant, at one point, holding his hands up and appearing to cooperate with officers. Moments later, two officers can be seen moving Grant from a seated position against the wall and then onto the floor. Officers positioned Grant face first on the floor with one officer near his head, a second near his back, and a third officer standing nearby. There appeared to be a brief struggle. Then, a two-year veteran BART officer stands, draws his weapon, and fires. After the fatal shot, you can see the officers react to what just happened. Why did he take his gun out? We showed the video to John Burris, who represents Grant's family. It doesn't appear that that was necessary. That they had this person, they had pulled him off uh, from a sitting position against the wall, and then they were rest, push, wrestling or pu putting him down, and they were turning him over. Two officers were. One was in his neck area, uh, and the other was straddling over him, and while he was doing that, as if he was reaching for his handcuffs, he reached for his gun. Burris says he has seen other video from that night, but none that show the incident directly. He says what he has seen matches the description given by witnesses. It makes no sense when you have the person in that position that you would then pull your gun and point your gun. Burris argues the images are evidence that support criminal charges against the officer, but this matter is still under investigation and the exact circumstances of the event may not be told by one video alone. Vargas says it is something that she wishes she had not seen, but says the truth and video should come out. This video is for everyone and to see. I, I want to show it to his family. I hope his family sees this. It's for everyone to see that. It was not right. The man who took the grainy cell phone video wanted to remain anonymous, but he says he did try to contact BART police about the video. And both he and Karina Vargas have offered to make the video available to the Grant family attorney. In the newsroom, Ken Pritchett, KTVU Channel 2 News.